Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to create drop down navigation using Flexbox. So, previously, I have created a video on creating drop down menus, but it was using the traditional methods. So, in this video, we will create a drop down menu using Flexbox. So, this is what we are going to design. We have these menus over here, and if I go to a drop down menu, we can see we get all the options. And if I go to this option over here, we get all the sub menus sub menu items so this is what we are going to design in this video so let's get started so i have these two files index.html and style.css so i'm using this code editor called vs code so i'll just create a basic boilerplate for our html5 and i will change the title to flexbox drop down menu so i have this extension called live server using this i can preview my result on the web browser so i'll just go ahead and open it with live server let's create our uh, html structure so first of all we have a nav and we'll name it main nav and in that we will have a couple of allies so First of all, we have home and then we have services, downloads, FAQs and about. So we have to copy this four more times. So here I will type services. Then we have downloads. Then FAQs. And about. So in services, we have three more menu items that is android dev ios and web dev so after the a tag here we will create another ul and in that we will create another li and the anchor tag and here we will type android dev and we will copy this two more times so here we have ios dev and here we have web dev and in our web dev we have three more options that is node.js php and python so after the a tag over here i will create another ul and li here i will type node.js and i will copy this two more times and here we have php and python so then we have three uh, two options in faqs android and ios so after the anchor tag here we will type android and we'll copy it one more time and here i will type ios so we have our basic markup of the navigation then we have this section over here so for that we'll go right after the navigation and here i will type section and we'll have an h1 and in that we will type hi welcome so now we have completed our html markup now i will link my style file over here so we'll go to our css and start the styling so first of all we will do some basic resetting that is we'll set the margin of everything to zero the padding to zero and also the box sizing to border box and then we will style these uh, anchor tags so here i will type main nav and all the anchor tags inside our main nav should have this style applied so we'll set the color to f6 f7 f8 and set the background to 254441 and then set the display to block because by default it has a display of inline 
then we will set the height to 64 per pixels and font family to Lato then we will set the font weight to bold and we will set the display to flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center we will set the text decoration to none so that will get rid of all the underlines and we will also have a transition for our background for 0.4 seconds now we will style the hover so main nav a hover and here we will just change the background color and we'll change it to 305753 so we have our background color changing when we hover over it now we will style our unordered list so here i will type main nav ul and set the list style to none and display to flex so we have this display flex applied over here now we will go to our li's so main nav li and we will set the width to 100% and text align to center then we will set the position to relative we have to set the position to relative because all the sub menu items should be positioned relative to this position so now we'll specify what should happen when we hover over one of these main menu items and what should happen to the sub menus so for that we have to add a class for our sub menus so here i will create a class called sub menu and for our other sub menu will create another class called sub menu 2 we also need to set uh, these arrows so for that we'll go to our services and below our services inside the a tag here we will type span and we will have a class called arrow and here i will type ampersand hash x 25 bc so this will give me this icon and for the right icon i will type span with the class of arrow and ampersand hash x 25 b 6 so this will give me this arrow so we'll go back to our css and here we will type main nav li hover and what should happen to our sub menus li so here we will set the display to block and the top to zero pixels now we will style the sub menus li's so sub menu li and here i will type display none for now because we don't want to display it yet so all the sub menus will be uh, hidden we also have to add the sub menu class over here so we'll go to our html and here i will have a class called sub menu so now that is hidden and here we will set the position to absolute and the top to zero pixels now we will style our sub menu so sub menu is the ul so this is the sub menu so this ul is called sub menu so here in our sub menu we will display it to flex and flex direction should be column position to absolute and uh, width of 100 percent 
so here we can see our sub menu being displayed now we'll specify what should happen to our sub menu 2 so now we don't have any anything displayed over here so here we will type sub menu li to position relative so when we hover on web dev all the items should appear right over here on the right side so we have to set the position to relative now we will style the hover so sub menu li hover and what should happen to our sub menu to li so here i will just type display to block now at the beginning the allies of the sub menu 2 should not be visible so i will just display none over here and for our sub menu 2 i will say display flex and flex direction to column and the position to absolute the top should be 0 pixels and the left should be 100 percent and the width should be say 120 pixels so now if i will hover over here we can see we get this uh, sub menu displayed right here because we have set the left to 100 percent the sub menu items will be displayed on the right side of our uh, heading so now the last thing we need to do is style our arrow we need to have a little bit of space in between them so here i will type arrow and uh, we'll set the margin left to 8 pixels and the color to EEE and the font size to 12 pixels so we have our style displayed to the arrow now the last thing left is to style our uh, section so first of all we'll set the style of our h1 we'll set the font size to 72 pixels and the font family to lato now we will style the section so here we will have a background color of f2 f4 f3 display flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center and now we'll set the height of the section to 100 viewport height here we can see we have our section but uh, the height is a little bit more than we expected because of our uh, menu over here so we have to subtract the height of our menu from uh, this so here we will use calc function and calc 100 viewport height minus so we will see the height of our uh, menu so it is 64 pixels so i will say 64 pixels over here and here we can see we have everything as we wanted we also need to have an arrow over here i'll just copy this line of code and uh, paste it over here so that's it for this tutorial we have completed this uh, drop down menu using flexbox so we didn't have to deal with all the floats and uh, the clears and all those things so this is an easy and an efficient way to create a drop down navigation so this is also responsive uh, f to some extent so if I will uh, maximize this browser we see that everything is uh, having the same width so this is actually uh, responsive and if you want to have a mobile version of this drop down menu you can do it using 
some media queries and uh, changing some of the css so i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates and i'll be uploading this source code in my github so thanks a lot for watching have a nice day